here's Clint. This is Jim Bob. We are the Whiskey Drink. That is right. And why are we here? Well, let's get down to it. Well, what happened? Hold oh, on. Oh, oh, the heart had him excited. You better calm down. What happened? What had happened was Tell we had done a little video about my heritage and about my being like 14% Greek. Yeah. Or Jesus, if you if you want to go that route with it. Makes sense. Yeah. So within that. Jim Bob had found out that he didn't like, he admitted that he didn't like Greek people. Well, not Greek people. Well, he was misinformed. He thought that Greek people were like Greek gods and that they and not were not like Greek and gods like, and like little goblins and shit like that. Yeah, so he was ill informed and he was corrected and now he loves Greek people. Yeah, I thought it was mythological time shit. Yeah. You know? So what we did is we went out to the store and we got us a bottle of this. We got us some Uzo Greek specialty liqueur. That is right. Now this is to prove to Jim Bob that the Greek people did in fact exist, did in fact drink alcohol, and this is their product. Now, let me, can I explain about the Luche? 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 Not to be confused Whatever. with douche, because it's not the same thing. It's now, not like Le Douche, it's like Le Luche. Now we, we, Luche. we watched a video. Sound like that. And they showed how this stuff can be poured water poured into it, and it turns into a louche, which is uh, it turns like milky white. Yeah, and if you look at it, it's clear. Yeah, which we probably need paper. So it's a little, a little frosted here. A little frosted. Yeah, that is obviously clear right there. Maybe a little bluish, but the bottom might be bluish. But all right, so. Uh, but it's clear. Yeah, so it'll louche up, and it's just like absinthe. If you ever tried that, it turns into a little loucher. So we're gonna uh, drink it straight. Maybe try a little loucher. See what happens. See what happens. Now, before we get too much further, you oh, need to read everything. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, before we get any further, Jim Bob threw by ways of me because I do most of the answering on the comments. Yeah. But Jim Bob inadvertently got into an argument with this little lady named uh, Lydia ninety four. Yeah. Cute lady won't send Jim Bob any pictures of herself with good reason. Yeah, she's cute though. But anyways, she was a little concerned because Jim Bob had said he hated Greeks. Yeah, but I don't. Now that he loves Greeks, yeah. he kind of wants to marry her. It's it's a weird, awkward I story. love shawarmas, and I love, uh, I used to live above a Greek restaurant. They're real nice people. All right, let's get back to the bottom. All right, so uh, this is a S and E and A. They must have added A. Like C? Uh, S and E and A, yeah, like oh. C. Uh, Metataxa. I can't read that one. This is a Greek specialty liqueur. Um, now, this right here is since 1980. 1888, so that's a long damn time ago. Been around a bit. Uh, it's Uzo by Mex Mex to Metaxa. Metaxa, uh, Greek specialty liqueur. They're Metoxa. just repeating themselves. And then um, the nice man S Metaxa signed his name down at the bottom. Of this two stamps of approval. Oh, so he must have made it then. Yeah, where's this yeah. coming out of? Oh, Greece. Yeah, Greece, Jimbo. It is uh, kosher in Greece. So this is also kosher. Oh, that's good. Oh, then there's a little thing to read right there. Oh, yeah. It you, looks there's important. no way you can read that. Yeah. Uzo by Metexa is distilled in small, traditional copper steels according to the time-honored recipe. Spices such as anise, mastic, and badayan, whatever, are combined in a unique mix which gives Uzo, which gives Uzo, God damn it. Which gives Uzo by Matexa a distinctive, rich aroma and taste that is full and balanced. Served with water or ice, the crystal clear liquid turns milky white. A magic transformation that is typically or typical for this aperitif, aperitif, what is Damn. some other word? Well, it's, it's Greek. Enjoy right. straight up as the aperitif. It's all Greek to me. With ice and water on the rocks. Bam. So there you yeah, go. It even says on the bottle that the shit's going to turn colors if you mix it with water. Yep. All right. Crack this. Oh, it's still pretty good. Dad. I've never heard of Uzo, so it must be right. Poor test. Not here. much carbonation. No carbonation, I'd say. Give her a little shot of real. Oh, you good? A little shot of real. Now, I got me a bottle right here. Should I do it to this one? It will do kind of like the... Uh, hey, let's... Uh, Let's have a drink and do the review first. No, we'll do that last. All right. Uh, I'll smell here. Ooh, it 
Smells like black oh, licorice. Oh man, this is gonna be uh, rough. I hate black licorice. You just want to go. Well, I think we should drink it the traditional way. This stuff is smells um, real sugary. It's it's like this. It's got a nice feel. It's like nice buying feel. those little Kool Aid things where you put a couple drops in. It smells. Just drinking that. Now did it say served with water? Okay, served with water or ice? Oh, this is like absinthe right here. I'm telling you, you wanna enjoy straight up as an apparatus with well, ice and water on the rocks. That and scent or whatever, yeah. I forgot about that. That tastes like black licorice. Yeah. So, so uh, right here, I'm telling you, do the water because you're not going to want to do a second shot of that if you hate black licorice. Do the water. Do, we gotta I'm do just it. debating. What's that little girl's name? What's that young lady's name? Lydia 94. Lydia 94. We got to do it old school style. You know, traditional. Well, I don't know. Is is that traditional? That is traditional. We watch those videos. We watch like two videos on the internet. Attention. And, and both of them say it's traditional. So my, my it said that tells it me. water to it. That's tradition. Yeah. Oh, over, okay. over 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 the rocks. Watch this. It'll loose. Well, it's already done. Bam! Loosed right up. Now you can compare the two right there. Let's see, there's a big difference. You got one loosed. You got one unloosed. Should I? You think I should? I think you should loose it up. Yeah, you're gonna see right away. This is real sugary and stuff. It still it's has just, quite a film to I it. I swear to you, like ten pounds of sugar in this thing. Ten pounds of sugar in this thing. Still really smells black licorice. -y. Yeah, what we're, we're gonna have to deal with it. You have to swish it around too. No, no swishing, just a straight shot. All right, cheers. Hey, what? It's not that bad. That's what I mean. Yeah, it's like absinthe. That kind of uh, taste. You don't really mind it in that for some hmm. reason. That's weird. Yeah, normally you don't like black licorice. No. It kind of numbs your mouth a little bit. But yeah, if you would have drank that shit straight, probably would have yeah, been yeah. that times 10. See, people in Greece are civilized. They oh. pour, you know, it's just like. I guess the important stuff here 40% no. alcohol by volume, so that's 80 proof. Yeah. It's 750 milliliter. I guess, yeah, it wasn't too bad. It's real sweet. It's like a dessert. Hmm. I could see having that maybe a dessert. Probably get you on a dance floor and do the, what do they do in Greece? The, uh, the, the, the chachas? The, uh, I don't know. Um, Whatever you Put it down in the comments what you guys do. What kind of dance I don't know. All right. Uh, I'm going to give it a... Um, mm. Um, I'm gonna go with a three. That's not bad, being that you three. don't like black liquors. What about you? Well, I'm gonna give it a. Uh, I'm gonna give it four, actually. I know that's. I would, that, that was my second one. Uh, I, I went with the three because of the black licorice, because I don't like black liquors. Um, and that's my sole purpose for giving it a three. If it wasn't for that, it would be a, probably a five. Oh wow! Uh, unbelievably smooth. Wow, he doesn't like black liquors no. either. But if it wasn't for that black licorice flavor, yeah, I mean it's smooth as can be. It is. I mean, it, that would be a a good dinner drink right there. That would be. And, all right, do you want me to tell you why? Go ahead. All right, because this right here is a traditional. I'm telling you, this is a freaking traditional thing where families get together at the restaurant and stuff like that. Video we watched, like the one video we watched, because we always watch two videos before we draw our conclusion. So, anyways, we don't. So a family sitting there, they're drinking this stuff, they're pouring the water in with it. It's like a more of a social drink. I don't even they're remember doing that part. Popping shots of it, maybe sipping it and stuff. Just having fun, and that's what it's all about with me. So this is, you know, you can't compare this to something you get down shot after shot like Jack Daniels when you're sad. Yeah. This is a celebration type of thing. Yeah, I can see that. You know, and, and my face already feels, I already feel it in my face. I feel good, I feel like doing the cha-cha. I, like I said, I'm surprised. Like, if I can just get over the black licorice, it would have been a five. Yeah. Because it's it's like, I mean, maybe the water helped it, but it's like drinking water. I mean, I mean flavored water. It's you what reminded me of. You want to try a little tiny sip of the actual? Yeah, I do. I'm going to just a little bit. Might be real sweet. Flash for real. You want to? Yeah. I, yeah, might as well. We can rate this too. I'm scared of this. Alright. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Oh. 
There's the bite right there. But oh. it's still not bad. I mean, it's, it's a, a lot of black liquors. Wow. But it's still pretty smooth. Yeah. Consider what it is. And you know, the taste of black licorice, like sometimes, you know, you might have red licorice or different kind of flavors, like, but no, 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 we're talking about black licorice, yeah. like straight up black licorice. Hmm. You get and you're like, damn it, I don't want this stuff. Damn, trick or treat in the house. I'm still going to stick by the three. Um, as much as I want to fluctuate up to a four, it's just a damn licorice. I kick it down to the three with that. Yeah. I don't really care if I'd ever have that again. But mixing it with water, knowing I can do that, it stays at a uh, four. Okay, now if you had two there sitting and you had to drink one of them, that or the other stuff in a green bottle, the Jägermeister. Yeah. What should it be? Um, oh, what do I have? Oh, you're hesitating. Do I, what do I have? Do I have water? Do I have uh, Red Bulls? What do I have? Just, just a bottle and empty glass. All right, but I can get water anywhere, so I'd get this Uzo. All right. Yeah, I'd choose that. So there it gets a little extra notch up. Yep. All right. But I've been drinking Jaeger since I was like nine years old, so. I hate Jaeger. I absolutely hate it. If it comes down between Jaeger and nothing, I choose nothing. See, maybe someday. If it came down to Jaeger and that, I would choose that. Someday you'll get a Jaeger review out of them. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, all right. That was enough for this. Man, what shelf does it go on? I'm thinking middle shelf. Middle, middle shelf. Why are you not putting it over there? We're just filling up these shelves right here. Yeah, we will be uh, in the very near future renovating. Yeah, making the shelves bigger because we're not out of room. Yep. All right, so, so next time we'll see you later. later.